Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do the daily vibes for around the 23rd, so right around the 23rd. Now keep in mind that the timing is fluid, and not every reading is for you, so this reading may or may not be for you, okay? I'm just trying to get my bottom of my chair correct, okay? Anyhow, so what do we have for a message today? We have the Four of Swords and the Three of Cups reversed. So this Four of Swords looks like we have nightmare. It looks like we have a nightmare here or somebody's being haunted. Um, it could be some mental anguish here. There's a monster under the bed, right? There's some sort of monster. Three of Cups reversed. It's parting ways, uh, dashed expectations of some sort. Um, could be a third party situation here. Uh, Three of Cups reverse, dashed expectations, a messy situation, termination. Somebody may be terminating something. Um, turning away, turning away from somebody, turning away from a relationship. Uh, we have somebody here that is, it's like, is there some sort of nightmare here? Or they're being haunted? Uh, it's almost like sleeping with the enemy. There's definitely something going on here. There's some sort of, well, if you think about the Three of Swords that comes before the Four of Swords, there's some sort of pain. You know, there's pain. Somebody is uh, haunted by something. Maybe it's a third party situation. I'm not sure, but this is could be a termination, you know, with that Three of Cups. They're haunted by something. Um, tired, very, very tired, feeling empty, alone. There's some, I feel like there's an enemy with that monster in the Three of Cups. Could be an enemy disguised as a friend. Maybe somebody's got, a, they're thinking about something, you know, a monster, they're dealing with a monster. Maybe their intuition is telling them that. I don't know. What do we got? What do we got for a message here? Two of Cups reversed. First card out. Well, that's handy. Now, Two of Cups reversed is a disconnection, a detachment, detaching from a partnership. So somebody may be detaching from a partnership. It could be a friendship, any kind of partnership. Maybe there's an argument or a breakup or a separation. You know, we have, there's an imbalance here. So somebody is disconnecting from a partner. Nine of Wands reversed. Now the Nine of Wands reversed is a card of great personal fear. We have somebody here that's been hurt really badly in the past. They have a big wall up, a big barrier up. They're very distrustful. Um, there's a need to be gentle, but I feel like we have somebody who definitely has fear. They have fear of getting in a partnership and being getting hurt again. Somebody is giving up a partnership or something like that because there's some sort of distrust. You know, I'm not... I'm not sure if I trust this partnership. Maybe there's a third party situation and it's not very wise. Um, five of Pentacles reversed. Now Five of Pentacles reversed is, is uh, abandonment, right? It's abandonment. It could be financial hardship. This could also be a turning point. It's going on the other side. So the, this could be a turning point, starting to see some sort of improvements. But the Five of Pentacles can also be an unhealthy relationship, right? This could be a disgrace, a major loss. It could definitely be a major loss of a partnership because, you know, somebody has been hurt really badly in the past. That's the Nine of Wands. It's somebody that has been wounded that now doesn't trust. Um... What is this? Five of Pentacles reversed. Major loss of a partnership. Loss of money. Loss of stability as well with the Five of Pentacles. Somebody's losing something. They are. The two cards. Now the Three of Cups reversed again. And the Sun card. Now the Sun card is happiness. That's a card of happiness. It's a card of enlightenment. It's a card of growth. But the Three of Cups reversed is 
parting ways. It is. There's a lack of emotional growth with the Three of Cups reverse. This is the party is over. There's a termination of some sort. There is. We got somebody here that maybe have come enlightened because the sun shines the light. You know, shows the truth in the daylight, you know. Maybe at night we had somebody here that was struggling in the middle of the night. Maybe they kept waking up in the middle of the night. They were haunted by something. Maybe it's a third party situation. They were having a hard time sleeping because we saw that monster under the bed. It's a nightmare. Maybe they just couldn't sleep. I'm not sure. Probably that's the case. Anyhow, the sun card is a card of enlightenment. It's a card of a new day. It's a new beginning. There could be a turning point here. There could be. But it's right next to that five of pentacles reverse. This could be coming out of abandonment. Coming out of neglect. Um... But that Three of Cups reversed is parting ways. Maybe it's maybe somebody is seeing something in their parting ways for their own happiness. You know, they're choosing their own happiness and they're parting ways from a third party situation. We do have a disconnection of a partnership. There's a detaching from a partnership because, you know, of some sort of enlightenment or something like that. It's over. I mean, the Three of Cups reverses, the party is over, right? I mean, it is. <gasps> Four of Swords reversed. So this is exhausted, fed up. There could be some health issues here, too. We may have somebody here that is extremely frustrated. They're frustrated with the stagnation, right? There's been stagnation. But with the Four of Swords reverse, typically that's the end of stagnation. We have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse on the bottom. This is a missed opportunity. Somebody is missing a golden opportunity. They're probably throwing it right away, probably because of a third-party situation. So this is an opportunity for stability and security, but it's slipping away. Somebody's not investing it. They're letting it go or they're throwing it away or they're just not taking it. This is an unplanned loss or, or it's a missed opportunity. It's a no. It's a no. So no investment. No. Two of Cups reversed. What's that? What's this Two of Cups reversed? Ah! Ooh! The Tower! So this is, a, this is a major disruption. Somebody's feeling it. They're feeling disrupted. They're feeling uncomfortable in their current circumstances in a partnership. This is a major disruption. This is... Uh, Internal, it's like an internal disruption. We may also have a foundation that is uh, crumbling, okay? This is a shock. There's some sort of uh, dismantling of a false sense of security here. This is a major shock. It's a major surprise. We have a separation here. We definitely do. I said, what is the Two of Cups reverse? And we got the tower. There is absolutely, positively going to be a shakeup. There could be a major fight, a major disturbance. Uh, we do have somebody here that is thinking. They are thinking about another option. They have another option. They've been contemplating, unsure of what to do. There is an opportunity for love here, but I'm not sure if I want it or I'm not sure if I want to invest in it. I mean, this one's like, I'm not, I'm not taking it. I'm not taking this offer. It's like there's an offer that's coming, but it feels like we have somebody here that's just like, I'm not, I don't know about this. So we definitely have disruption. We have internal disruption. We have um, uncomfortable, very uncomfortable. I feel like there's some sort of breakdown. There may be a breakdown of a false sense of security. Could be a breakup or a separation. Somebody has been probably outcast or uh, neglected in some way. Who wants to be neglected? 
can definitely cause a, a major disruption when, when there's neglect. Anyhow, so we have somebody here that is thinking. They're thinking. I feel like there's going to be an argument or a fight. Three of Wands. Now, the Three of Wands is making a definite decision. Getting prepared. I feel like we have somebody here that has been getting prepared. They've been getting prepared to go somewhere or something like that. I feel like we have somebody that is going to be focusing on the future. It's like they're ready. They're ready. This could be a relocation. They're ready. They're ready to go. It's time. It's time. It's time for the big show. Or I do feel like we have a big show here with that tower. It's time. It's time for... This is a definite decision that is being made to go somewhere. And it could be building a new foundation someplace else. There's going to be a disruption. There's going to be a change. It is a major change. The universe is forcing something. They're forcing somebody to see something because that is the light. And the, the tower is where there's some sort of shakeup or disruption that uh, breaks down the walls. And I feel like somebody has had some walls up. It's like the walls get broken down and everything comes out. And the light with the sun. So we do have light being shown. Something is being shown or being seen or being realized or... Something like that. Getting prepared. Get prepared. Get prepared. You might want to get prepared for an arrival because something is coming. You may be shocked. You may be surprised. Okay, you may be surprised. Could be surprised by a departure or an arrival. Okay, with that three of three of wands. And the tower, that is a faded event. Okay, it's an event where it's a big event. It's a, it's a life-changing event. So there's going to be an event that shakes up somebody's foundation. Now, a foundation is your body, or it's a home, or it's a place of residence. You know, and your body is a place of residence. Could be um, where you work, or your relationship. It's something big, okay? It's a foundation. So we have a, we have a shake up on a, in a foundation, okay? This is like forced change. It's a necessary evil. It's like the universe is, is really going to cause disruption to force a change. Get prepared. Okay? It's a new day. It's a new life. It's a new beginning. That's what the sun is. This is a, it's a breakthrough. Really it is. It's a breakthrough. It's a breakthrough of light. Okay? It's the light shining through. It's the light taking somebody out of a dark situation. Okay? That's what it is. Taking somebody out of a nightmare. Sun and the Four of Swords reverse. Remember I said that was a nightmare. Parting ways. Parting ways. There will be a parting of ways. There absolutely will be. We had that Three of Cups reversed twice. This party is over. Okay, it's a termination. There's a no, no growth here. Parting ways from a third party. T exhausted, fed up. You know, I'm not going to engage in this three of pentacles reversed now the three of pentacles reversed is not working together okay we have somebody here that's not going to be working together they are they've chosen they're choosing not to there could be a lot of gossip or people that are working against each other we have may have three people that don't work three's a crowd as well so i feel like we have too many people involved i think we have a relationship that is not on the same page because there's a third party there's a third there's somebody involved that should not be involved okay three is a crowd that's a fact. It is. There is going to be a parting of ways. We have three threes. Two of them are reversed. So this is not, somebody's prayers have not been answered because they need to part ways from their third party, the wrong one that's not working out to get their wish fulfillment. Oh, God, how long do we have to do this for?
It's time to focus on the future. The future looks bright with that three of wands, but you have to decide to step into the future. Unless you don't want abundance. I mean, above that three of wands is the five of pentacles. That's a major loss. It's financial setback. It's financial hardship. You know, you have to step forward to have financial growth. To have growth in your life, okay? That's part of evolution. I feel like this is coming out of darkness. Somebody's going to be seeing the light. Maybe getting an epiphany. I don't know. Something like that. This is the Light is being shed on something. A false sense of security. Put it that way. Something is... We just saw 1555 on the clock. So expect the unexpected. Um... Anyhow, this right here is a uh, fast forward movement. There's going to be some fast forward movement. There's also going to be some increased messages. Somebody's going to be uh, increasing, you know, their effort with communication. There's going to be some communication going back and forth. Things are going to progress very, this is fast. Okay, something's going to happen fast. I also feel like we have somebody here that is ready. They're ready. They're ready. They've been getting prepared. They know that it's coming, but they've been fearful with the nine of wands reverse. Maybe very fearful of, of change. Tower, rever Tower upright is right underneath it. You know, protecting themselves, avoiding challenge. Aha! The Nine of Wands reverse is avoiding challenge. It's right next to the uh, tower card. Well, it's time to face it. Okay, it's time to face it. It's time to face reality. It's time to face the, the uh, <laughs> truth because that's light being shed on the truth or something like that. A false sense of security or a false foundation that isn't stable is going to crash. Okay, it's not... It's not stable in any way. It's built on false pretenses. It's built on lies. It's not, it was never built up stable from the beginning. It was built on the wrong grounds, put it that way. Okay, so now there's going to be some sort of dismantling or a separation or a disconnection or a detachment from that false sense of security. Maybe this person just gets a dis, just gets enlightenment with the sun card. Maybe they just have to get a wake-up call or they start to see something clearly because the sun brings clarity, okay? They, they wake up. Maybe they wake up in the morning and they see something really, really clearly, you know, like, this isn't, this isn't what I'm looking for. You know, we get these threes. This isn't what I'm looking for. I'm not looking to be... You know, I want to be number one. I don't want to be number two. So, anyhow. Um, mm. oh. Seven of Pentacles reverse. Now, this is dissatisfied, right? It's unrealistic. There is no growth. This is a dead end. The season is over. The time is up. It's time to relocate or plant your seeds someplace else where the ground is more fertile. Start over someplace else. So somebody is going to be starting over someplace else. They are. I feel like we may have somebody here that doesn't want to take responsibility. This is the emperor reverse. This is somebody that deserts you in your time of need, that doesn't really show up, um, doesn't follow through with their plans, that is maybe inexperienced, may have the title of emperor, but they don't act as if. Okay? This is somebody that um, may be entitled, that is controlling, that... Um, doesn't have the determination and the willpower to be a leader. Okay, this is not a leader. This is somebody who has potential to be a leader, but they don't have the strength and the stamina and the willpower to do so. This is somebody that is actually very weak. It's like they want the position, but they don't want to take the responsibility and take the ownership and take charge. May have control issues. Want, you know... There could definitely be some control issues with the Emperor Reverse. May even, you know, be somebody that doesn't want to give up the control of their current circumstances. Um, poor decision. Emperor Reverse is a poor decision maker. Somebody doesn't make logical decisions. This may be somebody that is corrupt, that is only interested in helping themselves, only looking out for number one. 
you know? Doesn't want to take responsibility. Doesn't want to put the effort in. Wants the kudos, but doesn't want to put the effort in to make the change. Eight of Wands reversed. Star card reversed. We got somebody here is not taking any action, therefore their wish fulfillment is not, they're not gonna get their wish fulfillment. Lack of communication, no wish fulfillment. Lack of movement, no wish fulfillment. But take a look at, they flew right out of the deck. Just like that. So there's, there's, this is somebody that is unwilling to move forward, okay? So the star card reversed is no wish fulfillment, right? Not, why is this happening? Because, why is this happening? Because there's no movement. There's no, somebody's stuck. You know, there's no faith. We may have somebody here that has that fear take over. Star card reversed is fear. It's no faith. And the eight of, eight of wands reversed is blocked. Blocked wish fulfillment. Somebody is blocking their own wish fulfillment. What else fell out? The Herald oh, Devil energy. We got the Herald font and the devil. The Herald font is reversed. The we all know the Herald font is like a higher power. It's God, but it's reversed. And then we have the devil. So we have somebody here that just chooses, just, just would soon live in hell, right? They like living in hell. They like it. They do. Somebody doesn't believe. They don't believe in themselves. They don't believe in a higher power. They aren't very spiritual. They're probably definitely in a relationship that is toxic. The relationship is not on the same page, okay? There may be fear of commitment. We have somebody here that is very... Maybe they're obsessed with something. They have some sort of obsession or maybe they're obsessed with money or greed or lust. I mean... Uh, having a hard time doing the right thing. The Hierophant reversed is poor counsel. Maybe they've received some poor counsel from somebody that says that they got to stay in this toxic partnership that they're in right now. You know, maybe social pressure. I don't know. Maybe they maybe it has something to do with their father or their mother or who knows. Or sex or materialistic items or religion or something like that. But the Hierophant reversed is somebody that does the opposite of what they say. Okay, we definitely have a relationship that is no longer on the same page. It's based on all the wrong things. Okay, instant, some sort of instant gratification. Um, and we have somebody here that's having a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure. Okay, that's the truth. Very unhealthy relationship that we have here. Um, having a hard time breaking free. Why is this happening? Why, why am I not getting my wish fulfillment? Why? Because you're not, because you're involving yourself in a false sense of security that is false, okay? It's false, it's, the, it's false, okay? You're not being honest with yourself. Somebody's not being honest with themselves. They're investing in something that is false, you know? And it brings some sort of gratification, but I'd like to know where the love is in these cards because I got a shitload of cards here and I ain't got no love, none. No cups, except for the three of cups reversed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 cards. Death of a situation, but there ain't no love in these cards. So therefore it's false, right? It's all false because you were put on this earth to love. And if you, if you choose the materialistic things and you choose greed and you choose lust, well, you might get instant gratification for a little while, but that wasn't the right choice. Ooh, so anyhow, um, why is this happening? Somebody's health is declining. They're, they may be getting rejected from somebody because of a third party or because it's false, because of some sort of lies or something like that. There is definitely a separation here. We do have the Two of Cups reverse, so there, that's, that's not love either, okay? Two of Cups is not love in reverse. It's not. It's false love because underneath it is the, is the tower, okay? It goes just like this. 
That's a false love, okay? That's false love. That's all there is to it. Two of Cups reversed next to the Tower. It's a false sense of security. It's a false partnership, you know? So somebody's in a partnership that they are tied to for materialistic reasons or codependent reasons. It could be codependency because that's devil energy. It's like, I can't, I, what, if I, what if I end up alone? You know, I'm kind of scared to be alone. So that's codependency or there's some sort of addiction to it or obsessed. Somebody may be obsessed with another person, you know, or there's money involved. There's a reason, okay? Um, I feel like there's gonna be a major shakeup and I feel like there's gonna be a separation and I feel like uh, somebody's just going to decide to start investing someplace else. One more card. New investment here with the Seven of Pentacles. It's like planting my seeds someplace else. This is, this is dissatisfying. It's unrealistic. Making that decision, too. This is like making it goes like this. The Three of Wands is making a definite decision to go someplace. It's time. It's time to go. It's time to go. It's time. It's time to go someplace else. So I do think that there's somebody is deciding to go someplace else. Oh, seizing a new opportunity now for our cups reverse. I wasn't interested. I was thinking about it. I didn't know what to do. Now my mind is made up. It's time for me to go. It's time for me to take that other opportunity. So somebody is going to be seizing the opportunity, letting go of regret. This is the end of stagnation. This is looking forward now, focusing on the future. That is the three of wands as well. That's focusing on the future. And it, it, some, some, for some of you, it's literally, I mean, with the Three of Wands right next to that Seven of Pentacles, both of those symbolize travel or relocation. Somebody may be re relocating, getting away from something that has been haunting them for a long time. Six of Swords, that is moving on. That is moving on, moving on. So somebody is moving on. Nine of Cups going towards wish fulfillment. This is a chance to have it all. So somebody is going towards wish, wish fulfillment. Okay? Because they've been in a situation that absolutely is not. I also believe somebody is going to be uh, getting some messages from somebody because that Eight of Wands was upright. I saw it before getting a lot of messages for there's going to be increased maybe even intimacy with the eight of wands somebody may be becoming intimate with somebody um this is like pleased as punch well the nine of cups wherever that went i well what's gone now but we saw it a minute ago because i had cut the deck but now i put it back together the nine of cups is pleased as punch okay it's very it's like i'm so happy i'm so happy i made this decision you know um but this is seizing a new opportunity. So we do have somebody here that's going to be moving forward, taking an opportunity that they may have ignored in the past or they weren't interested in or something like that. Good luck.